Hey kids, welcome back to Mr. Auto's home gym. Hope you're eating lots of fresh fruits and vegetables and you're getting lots of rest, washing those hands, taking care of yourself. Hey, I got a question for you third through fifth graders. What's this exercise called? You said squat, you're right. Now tell me two or three things to make sure you keep in mind when you do them. Pokey said keep your heels on the ground, don't let your knees get in front of your toes, and try to keep your, try to keep your back flat, try not to let it round this way. Here's a couple from the side. That might not be perfect, everybody's always still working on their form, but should look something like this. Some of you guys can go probably even lower. Some of you that just didn't feel quite right, so at least this 90 degree angle, and try not to lean forward. Try to keep your chest up. Now, adults in your life might do them with something like this. These are called kettlebells. They're shaped sort of like tea kettles. So maybe they use these, or you can hold just one in front. I'd like to suggest to you guys that if you can do 10 or 20 pretty easy, just pick up something kind of heavy. Maybe a water bottle like this one. Up in my laundry room, I've got some bottles of laundry detergent. That's even heavier. That might be a good choice. Remember, always warm up before you do that intense workout. Jumping jacks for a minute or two will work out just fine. Um, a lot of people focus on their upper body. Don't forget to strengthen those legs. Last question. Besides squats, what's another leg strengthening exercise you could do? Maybe you said lunges or wall sits heel raises, those are all good choices. Now you little guys, kindergarten and first, you might not have done squats, but you've done squat jumps before. That just adds a jump to it. It's pretty much the same thing. So hope you're staying active, strong, and flexible and getting that, that heart pumping. Um, for now, from Mr. Otto's home gym, Otto out.